Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh with Blue Fox Group and today we are unboxing and setting up the IP480 phone. This is also applicable if you have a 480G model or the 485 as the setup process is exactly the same between all the models. Stick around and let's get you set up. Hey, welcome back guys. Hey, if this is your first time ever joining us, I recommend that you go down and hit that subscribe button. This is a channel where you're gonna get tips, tricks, and training on multiple different technologies that Blue Fox Group works with. Also do some product reviews and work with you on some business processes to help you grow your business using today's technology. All right, so we're gonna get into it. We're uh, today talking about the Mitel IP480 phone. It comes in a box like this. It, uh, if you see right here, it says that it's Shortel. Uh, Shortel was acquired by Mitel here a couple months ago. If you have a Shortel or a Mitel phone, just know that they both operate and uh, work exactly the same. Uh, the only difference is that it'll have a different icon on it. So the Shortel phones have the old Shortel logo. The Mitel ones are gonna have a Mitel logo right there in the middle. But uh, let's get into it. All right. So it'll come in a box like this, it'll be set up, all right? All right, so here we have the IP480 phone. We have the base unit, we have a handset, we've got the cable. It's also going to come with a 7 foot Cat6 Ethernet cord for plugging it into the wall. Now, if your switches do not provide what we call power over Ethernet or PoE, then your uh, phone is also going to come with a PoE injector. Um, this comes directly from Mitel. And let's open this up. All right, so here we have it. The PoE injector will come with your base unit. It also come with a seven foot ethernet cord that will uh, plug from the wall to the power injector and it'll come with a, a standard power cord. So this is uh, plugs into the wall and this is what provides the power for the phone. All right, so now we're gonna get into the phone and setting it up. So what you're gonna see with the base unit here is if you turn it around to the back, that there's gonna be a couple ports that are back here. All right, this first one on the far left side of the phone is your LAN port. So this is what's going to plug into your network. It'll either plug into the power over ethernet injector that we just unboxed, or it will plug directly into the wall if you do have PoE switches. The next port over is your pass-through connector. So this allows you to plug in another network device directly into the phone, which will in turn connect to your network. So this is very useful to either plug your computer into, or you can plug a network printer, or anything else that's actually going to be on your network that is on the same network as your phones. The port next to that is your headset port. So it uses a standard analog connection. This is going to allow you to connect any headset that uses the standard analog connection. Uh, there is no lifters or anything built for these phones, so it will just plug directly in and uh, you'll be good to go. All right. Let's really quickly go over the power over ethernet connector. So with power over ethernet connector, it'll look very similar to this. On the one side, you're gonna have your power adapter. So this is where you're gonna plug it into the wall with electricity using the cable provided. You'll plug that in. On the other side, there's two ethernet connectors. One says in and one says out. What you're gonna do is take the cable from the wall and plug it into the inside and take this out and plug it into your phone in the LAN jack. This will give your phone power if you do um, happen to misalign uh, these and plug them in backwards, then what's gonna happen is your phone will not power on. So it's a quick way to look at it. If your phone does not power on, make sure that it's plugged in correctly on the power side, and then make sure that these two are plugged in um, correctly. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna plug these phones in, and uh, we're gonna show you how these phones are set up. All right, now that you've got the phone plugged in and booted up, it should come up to a screen like this. Now this is set up for a cloud. If you do have an on-premise installation, it's gonna come up with a very similar screen. The only difference is that it's going to ask you for your extension number rather than your DID number. Also, an administrator probably has already assigned your phone using the MAC address and the director server on the back. 
So anyways, if you're using the cloud phone, all you're gonna do here, it's gonna pop up and it's going to boot up and go to this screen. And when it asks for your DID number, it's asking for your direct telephone number. So most phones, when they're put on the cloud system, have their own direct telephone line. And then the password. The password is going to be uh, your voicemail password. So if you have set your voicemail password, then it's going to be whatever you've set. However, if you have not, then your project manager from Mitel should have given you that. Uh, normally it is a five digit number and it is provided to the person who is doing the programming and working directly with the short sale project manager. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and log in with this. All you need to do is go ahead and put in your phone number. So in this case, we will put in this one. And go ahead and put in our password. And we'll hit OK. So what it's doing now is connecting to the Mitel cloud. So there's multiple instances in your data center of where your phone might actually live. So this very first time you log in, what it's doing is basically saying, where in the data center do I live? And this is what you're seeing. So it's requesting service and it's gonna register with the cloud. All right, so the second part is where it's actually assigning the user to your phone. So what it's done is it's connected to your organization's cloud instance and now it's actually putting your profile on this phone. Now, just as something to note here is that every once in a while, this does hang up in this spot. So if it ever does, what's gonna happen is down here on this bottom left button, it's going to say assign. And if you click that assign button, and then you put in your four digit extension for whatever your profile uh, extension is, along with that same password you put in before, it will connect your phone to your, uh, to your organization and pull your profile to your phone. So that's it, that's actually how you set up the phone. And at this point we can actually use the phone and receive and make calls. All right guys, that's it. That's how you set up the 480, 480G, and 485 models of the Shortel Mitel phones. Let us know if you have any questions down in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Also, let us know if there is anything that you would like us to review, go over, or provide some training on. As always, we're here for you, and we're here to make your technology better.